Привет, это Наташа. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and I'm here to help you to learn the Russian language and to know more about Russian culture and mentality. Давайте начнем. Today we speak about Russian adjectives. Let's go straight to the point. In Russian, adjectives decline. They agree in gender, number and case with the noun they refer to. When we say добрый день, we use the masculine form of an adjective because the word день is masculine. But when I want to say good morning, I will say доброе утро because утро is neuter. Добрый день, доброе утро. Now we see that we change the ending of an adjective depending on the gender. Unfortunately, there is more than one ending for each gender. At first, it can look confusing, but you will get used to it really fast as soon as you read or listen in Russian. Also, if you follow my lessons, your approach is like mine, not to ignore the grammar. The information about soft, hard, stressed or unstressed endings probably is not the easiest, but you will need it later anyway, so try to understand the logic. Let's look at the table. We will divide the adjectives into four groups, depending on the ending of the stem. The majority of Russian adjectives have a hard stem. Hard stem means that the last sound of the stem is hard. Here a masculine word has either the ending ы or ой. Pay attention, ой is a stressed ending. Feminine adjectives of that group have the ending aya neuter, oye, and plural, ye. Let's read this line. Dobry, dobraya, dobraye, dobryye. Maladoy, maladaya, maladoye, maladyye. If the stem ends with g, k, h, the masculine word has the ending i or oy. Oy is a stressed one. Aya for feminine, oye for neuter, and ie for plural. For example, ruski, ruskaya, ruskaye, ruskiye. Plachoy, plachaya, plachoye, plachiye. If the stem ends with že, sha, che, sha, a masculine word has the ending i or oy. Oy is a stressed one. A feminine word has the ending aya, two endings for neuter, yeye or oye, and ie for plural. Хороший, хорошая, хорошее, хорошие. Большой, большая, большое, большие. You already know the rule that after the letters g, k, he, je, sha, che, sha. You can't write e, only e. Remember it. And the last group of adjectives, adjectives which have a soft stem. Here all the endings will be soft. E for masculine, yaya for feminine, yeye for neuter, and ie for plural. Sini, sinaya, sinie. Синие. And you are right, синие, синие sound really similar when spoken quickly. Another thing you should know about the Russian adjectives is that an adjective precedes a noun. Usually it's like that. Sometimes the word order can be different. For example, when an adjective is a part of the predicate. Compare these two sentences. Новая машина и эта машина новая. The word order is different because the role of the adjective is different. In the second sentence, we actually use the verb to be, which is omitted, plus the adjective. That's why the adjective follows the noun. Also, the question word which in Russian must agree with the noun as well. So we have какой, какая, какое. Какие? For example, if I want to ask which book is that or what sort of a book is that, I will ask 
Какая книга? Или какая это книга? I will use какая and not какой, because книга is feminine. If you don't understand why книга is feminine, go and watch my lesson about Russian noun. And uh, the last thing I wanted to mention today is that the Russian adjective has two forms, a long and a short one. So, next time I will give you a list of important adjectives and after that we will look at the difference between a long and a short one. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you liked it, please support me with your likes. And if you want to see more lessons from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Увидимся. Пока-пока.